I'm actually pleasantly surprised that that works so well. Let's see if it works again. I'm going to use the line tool and find the midpoint right there and try to go vertically up with that. A total of 13 units. Enter. Okay, I'm going to try to snap it over to this one. That was successful. So escape, enter, and I'm going to try to connect it to that one as well. So escape a few more times. I'm going to revolve this, and it does look like it's fitting rather nicely there. So that's all looking great. We're going to have to delete this line here because it's a polyline. So I'm going to select it first of all and press delete. Looks like that one's in a triangle already, but that this one over here is missing that bottom line. So let's go ahead and add it with the line tool again. So that's going to connect to that like so. I'm going to delete these middle center structures and then I'm going to use the join tool, join, enter, to kind of combine these three lines together. And then I'm going to do the same with these three lines over here, enter. Okay, I think it's uh, appropriate that we switch back to a single view. Turns out we didn't actually need that. So now that we have those two in place, we can go ahead and extrude them. Let's see if the extrude works out. Extrude, enter, select this one, enter, and we're going to go out a total of 52 feet. So enter right there. And then this next one over here, we're going to also extrude, enter, select that, enter. And we don't want to go the whole way, just up to the, the roof, which is 28 feet. So 28, enter. So it looks something like that. So our roof is looking amazing. The only issue with it, though, is that if we go to our 2D wireframe mode, it's actually two separate objects and not one singular roof. So let's go ahead and combine those. I would like you to select both objects and then use the tool called Union. So U-N-I-O-N, -N, Union. Press Enter. And then just select the two objects, press Enter again. And if you did so successfully, then it should have merged the two roofs so that this portion here, this is what we call a gable, and this part that's extending out, that's the valley. So this is a gable and valley roof with a one foot overhang. Okay, let's go ahead and plop this down on our house. And if you're wondering why I didn't delete that interior portion, it's because that interior portion is actually gonna match up perfectly with those exterior walls. Hence why I didn't delete it. Let's go ahead and use the move tool enter select both objects enter and then we're going to move that corner over to this corner over here okay i'm going to press escape twice and let's go ahead take a look wow that is that is quite some roof rotate it i'm going to switch it over to a shaded mode right away i noticed that I accidentally put the overhang here, but I think I was a little short on the wall or on the roof on this portion. So instead of undoing everything that we just did, all I want you to do is hold down the control key on the keyboard, hover over this face over here and click it once. If you do that, your arrows are going to show up. You can click on this green arrow here and I'm going to just move in this direction a total of two feet. So I'm going to press two, press enter. And if you do so correctly, press escape a few times, then you got your overhang back in place. So this is looking amazing. We're going to go ahead and add the roof finally to the roof section like so. And there we go. The complete exterior of a house has now been completed. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and conclude this video series. But if you're interested in me adding windows and doors and such, there will be more videos in the future. So stay tuned. I hope you learned a lot from these tutorials. And this is Mr. Z, signing out. Peace.